I'm John Southworth, and I own Southworth Associates. For 21 years, we've been uh, monitoring and case managing people that had a license. And I didn't realize that by them being accountable to that license, if they want to be a doctor, a nurse, or an attorney, or a judge, or a pharmacist, or a veterinarian, or a dentist, or a dental hygienist, you got a license, you got that hanging over your head. And those people have been very easy not really, but at least they've been accountable to where we can get them into recovery because it takes at least five years to get a person where you can get a good prognosis for recovery. When we work with a doctor, I'm just going to use doctors at this time because they have a license and they want to they want to go back into that surgical booth. We get the phone call. We don't diagnose. We're not capable. Neither are the people that are scared. They're watching for behaviors. When they see changes in four things, behaviors, attitudes, achievement, or attendance, something's going on, or alcohol in their breath, or passed out, but that's later stage. But when they first see those first signs of changes in behavior, give us a call, and we'll, we'll decide what we're gonna do, okay? We'll get with the right people, and I'm the doctor's advocate. Hey, sir, there's been some things come up where there's changes in behavior with you, and some things going on. I don't know if it's alcohol or pills, we couldn't smell the pills or anything. I want to be your advocate and get you out of this jam. We're not going to have anything to do with the Board of Medicine. What we're going to do is you come with me, we'll get you on a plane, come with me, we'll get you evaluated. It's about a three to five day evaluation. And when we get the diagnosis and the recommendations, and it says you don't have a problem, we'll come back and I'll show these people and get them off your back so you can continue working like you want to. If you've got a problem, these people have been great about early detection, and let's find out if there is a problem and get you treated. Once you're treated, and you come out of treatment with the recommendations from the treatment center. That's a discharge summary. I'm going to take that discharge summary and create it into a contract, which is they want you to do this, which is uh, check your urine so many times. If you're an anesthesiologist, it'll be probably once a week. It'll be random and maybe some 12-step meetings, maybe see a psychiatrist, maybe see a psychologist, go to groups, whatever it is, we're going to be monitoring that for you for uh, about five years approximately five years and reevaluate you. That will hold you accountable and save your life. That's what I'm going to do for you. So with this concept, it works. Right now, I've got a program that's three years old with pharmacists. I have a 100% recovery rate. And I think that's really great. Now I know darn well once I start talking like that, somebody's having a relapse. But the neat thing that I want to share with you is we can get up as high as 96% recovery rate. Our average right now in our, in our company is 76% recovery rate if they follow the recipe, okay? That's fantastic because I've heard from my experience that three to 7% is the national average for 28 day uh, treatment or outpatient. And I know we have to have 28 days and outpatient and everything because of financial thing. But if we do the monitoring, we can up that I'm sure too. But that's not what I wanna talk about. What I wanna talk about is look how all of our outcome studies now for all these people with licenses is wonderful and I'm so proud of it. How can I move that over to the, the longshoreman, the lumberman, the truck driver? That's the guy I want to help because there's so many of them. But I didn't have that licensing bureau. That was what is so scary to me. So in the transition of moving over there, I kept adding the ingredients just like you would trying to make a recipe for cookies. I kept in, putting in ingredients like, well, maybe it's the, it's the long-term 12 weeks, or, or maybe it's this, or maybe it's that. It still wasn't working. My outcomes were not as good. So I came up with a concept. Whoever hires me to do the intervention, during the intervention training, I'm going to train these people. I am now going to make you the licensing bureau, if you will. I don't care if you're the FAA now, or I, I even think about hanging signs around the family. You are now the FAA, or you're now Board of Medicine, or whatever it is. <clears throat> I've got to create that. The way we've created it is during the rehearsal. We read the letters, we, we show them, and I'm having everybody hold hands now. And I've said, now imagine your loved one, which we're going to intervene on tomorrow, is a wild horse in this corral. Now, how far are you willing to go to save your son's life? How far are you willing to go to save your grandson? How far are you willing to go? And everybody, oh, right now, we're all willing. I said, hang on to there. I said, who's he going to manipulate first? Mom. I said, drop your hand. The horse is out of the, out of the corral. I can't do a thing for you. Don't hire me. Because if you drop your hand and let this kid out, he's dead. So if you drop your hand, the responsibility is yours. I'm going to hold you responsible if you allow me to. Oh, I'll do anything. Okay. 
So I hold hands and I then tell them, the only three words I'll let you use are wow, whatever, and oh really, when your son calls, because he's going to be mad, I want to come home, it's the disease talking. I love you, call John. So I'm going to test you now, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, I'm your son now. Mom, if you don't send me $500, I'm going to kill myself or at least the drug dealer will. And she says, wow, that's the key. I'm taking over. Our company is now taking over. You're out. All you're going to do is read the letters. I'm going to listen to them now in the rehearsal. They're going to be non-judgmental, and I'll take them with me. Then tomorrow you read them, and that's all you have to do. Whether he goes or not, I'm taking over. And I want to take over for the next five years. We'll do it a year at a time, but I want to take over. Now, if you're all willing to do that, here's the contract. And I want you to each sign it, because I'm going to video it. And I'm also going to tape it. I'm going to tape your words, and in 45 seconds, I'll be on my server. And I want you to know I'm going to hold you accountable, or you hire somebody else. So I have them all sign it. I video it with my iPhone. I send it to my server, and I, and I uh, record it. And they all say, yes, I will. So that holds the accountability. So now I'm building a, a, a licensing bureau, if you will. And I love the idea of, of the corral. They, they can understand that horse getting out, and I want to saddle it so bad. I do go a lot of times, and I'll stand somebody on the chair and say, this is your son, and here's, he's drinking, and he's getting real, real wobbly now. Who's the first person again to hold the son up? Mom. Mom always is the neighbor. So I bring her over. Hold your son up. He's getting wobbly on this chair. Who else? Well, dad, the employer, the friends. And I say, okay, how long is he going to stay up on that chair using? Forever as long as they're a neighbor. Once I get rid of all the enabling and you start listening to me and you listen to the process, we'll save your kid's life. I promise you that. But if you're not part of this, please, you're wasting your money with me. So that gets that point across. So at that time, we sign the contract, we video it, and we send it in. Now we hold them accountable. That contract, I've got a staff in my office, I've got offices that call them. And when they come out of treatment, we'll have the discharge summary, we'll be doing their urines, their AA meetings, their NA meetings, their, their everything else. In the meantime, folks, you, you especially, you've got to go to Codependency Anonymous. I want you to pick up that phone right now, and you call this number, and I have them call two or three places to see what's the first Codependency Workshop, and I make everybody that I feel needs it right now, eventually the whole family goes. All of you are going to go to Allen on two or three times a week because we are going to hold you accountable uh, through this program and anything else that you need, family uh, counseling or whatever. And all of you are going to go to Family Week. The little kids, 7 to 12, I want to go to Betty Ford's Children Program. Uh, they're in Dallas and uh, Denver and Palm Springs. And I want those kids to go. You'll save millions of dollars in counseling. This whole family has got to get well because you cannot take that person, as I told you before, a leper out of a leper colony, put him in treatment, put him back in a leper colony, and say, you know, don't catch leprosy. So we're going to hold all of you accountable. We're going to hold the person that we're intervening on accountable, and we're going to hold you accountable. Everybody's going to be getting into treatment and into recovery. If I can get this family into recovery, you'll never, ever spend money more wisely than that. I don't, I don't care whether it's a person that has a license, doctor, airline, I could care less about that, okay? I don't care who it is, we'll help them. Now, if they don't have a license, we have the program for you also, and that's through Southworth Associates. So I don't care what they do, the airline, the doctor, the attorney, the judge, your kid, it doesn't matter, your sister, your mom, we've got the help you need. And if you can't be accountable, then don't call us. You can call us, of course, to get a referral, but we're not the place for you because we do hold you accountable because we want success. We've got, we want recovery. And I really appreciate this, and I, uh, I'd love to talk to everybody. We've got a sad figure to tell you where there's 25 million of us with this addiction, which I have the disease. I've been sober 30 years. And from my best knowledge of this through my experience is only one out of 34 make it in the United States. And that's sad. The reason the other 33 die is because they don't have the resources or the people to do the intervention or the intervention person to get the person into treatment. That, that's sad. So it's about resources usually. Try us. I'll, if you don't have money, I'll get you someplace that, that will uh, we'll get you a charity bed of some kind. But if you, if you really want help, give us a call at 1-800 three eight six one six nine five if you want my toll-free cell it's also eight six six four six oh nine oh one four 
Our website is Southworth Associates, S-O-U-T-H, W-O-R-T-H, Associates, plural, spell it out, southworthassociates.net. You can see on there, we've been in business longer than anybody, and we'd be more than happy to help you in any case. Thanks. Mm -hmm.